You see me! Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to our playthrough of Don't Starve Hamlet. Let's kill these guys. Because I think we're good on... Wait, why are you Why are you sliding back over here? No, not the cheap shot. Oh, I hate the cheap shot. Are you running away from the nightmare guys? Okay, so like after we get overcharged, we gotta get away from the Thunderbirds quickly. Yeah, this is no bueno. Okay, so the plan for today... We want to check on the nettles. We're going to need some more nettles shortly. And uh, a project that we can that we can focus on while we are waiting for those dang nettles to grow is hammering these pig guard towers and uh, digging up all of their dang crops. Boy, it's taking me a long time to get my sanity back. Well, you look at that. We fought a lot of a lot of shadow guys while we're here. Fortunately, we have a hand bat, so it's it's all time well spent. We could take that right to the ends. Well, look at that. We just made 10, 10 nightmare fuel. What's in here? Nothing. We don't even have a hammer. Can we uh we can't use the <laughs> we can't use the hammer on that. Okay. Let are we still crazy? No, we're good. We're good. All right, cool. Uh, let's head back. Let's put this put some of this food away. And then we'll come back. Happy about uh happy about those thunderbirds right there. Very cool thing. Robin coming? You coming, right? Cool. And uh, we do have overcharge for a long, long time now. Where's my hunger at? 164? I think max is 200, so we got we got a few more gears to eat before we're there. Before we're totally there. But, um... Yeah, I think we're in a good place. Now, I we had gotten some more canned stuff that I want to get. I want to bundle up. What's the best way to do this? All right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this food away, cook up some meat, and then we will get on with our project for today. And just like that, I already forgot our goal for today. Let's go check on those nettles right now. Um, I want to set up. What I really want to do is set up kind of a, a like a, a, a mini base over there, so that we can uh, we can pick out some things to to do, keep us occupied while we're waiting for nettles to grow. For now, I think we're just going to turn them on, or maybe we did turn them on and forget about them. I I've, I completely forgot, but I want to be more, more vigilant about checking nettles in this episode because we have we have another lush season coming up, and we're running, we're starting to run low on nettles. So I did pre-build a cork barrel this time. I did do that. Yeah, how are we looking? Yeah, we, we let it run down. That was, that was not smart. Come on. Oh, do we have a lightning rod set up right here? Well, good, good, we do. Okay. I'm wondering if they fixed the uh, the range deal with these nettles. Doesn't look like they did. Looks like the sprinkler is still pretty short range. Okay. What we will probably do then? Are you gonna get wet? No. Bummer. Big bummer. What we'll probably end up doing then is setting up another sprinkler because it would be nice to mass produce nettles a little bit more. Just a little bit. Now, we can put our cork barrel down right here. And I just gotta remember to bring bring my umbrella with me so uh, for when we harvest. And we will we'll leave fuel in here for now. Cool. Alright. Man, those spider monkey trees, they're they're probably yeah, it's probably time to, to harvest some more of those. Um, but I will head back for now so that I can, uh, I can bundle up some food and we can start to pound away at these guard towers in the cultivated biome. So be right back. I'm just taking a little initiative here and starting to kill off some of these pig guards so that I can hammer their houses. Although now that I'm thinking about it, do they just do they just respawn in the house if they're dead and you hammer their house? I suppose we'll find out shortly. All right, so he dead. He dead, and so when we hammer this house, yeah, we'll see if we we'll see if he respawns. All right, let's go get the executive hammer and get to pound it. All right, customer number one. Hey, no pig guard. I'll take it. And, let's see. Was there a guy over here? Interesting, so no pig guard came out of there. Thou coward! 
Where am I going to leave all these halberds? We're going to get a lot of halberds right now. We'll just leave them here for now. Hello. Oh, I should put some armor on. Yeah. So after I get rid of these pig guard towers, I'm going to I'm going to put up a uh, a configure like a, a cluster of pig guard towers that will be my uh, my my panic room for for bat waves. Oh, thank you for the thank you for the pig skin. How lovely. Yeah, I want to set up like eight pig guard towers right next to each other, and that'll be where I run when the bats come. When they come, and oh, they they do come, they do come. Please don't be inside. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to uh, keep knocking these guys down, and then I'll show you what I have in mind for uh, my my pig guard configuration. Okay, here's the here's the tower with the guy that I killed, like, very, very recently. And he's inside! Look at that. So, if you kill the pig guard, and then knock down the tower, he just respawns when, uh, when you kill the tower. All right, we'll kill him, and then it's probably time to check on those dang nettles. Come here, dance with me, piggy, dance with me. You know, it. I do. I do miss the the days of beta when you could get four hits on these guys. But um, it actually. I mean, once you get the hang of this, the dance and the the flow of things, it doesn't take that much longer to kill them now. It just uh, it's just a different uh, it's a different workflow. All right. Can we make it to the nettles before before they run dr go dry? Let's find out. Oh, it is cold outside today. You can probably see I'm wearing I'm wearing full body thermals. It is so cold out. Oh, okay, cool. Whoa, but good timing. Good timing because you are about to. Whoa, whoa. So you're about to get empty. It is so cold outside. It's six and six degrees Fahrenheit, and with the wind chill. It feels like negative like 10 or 15. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So fortunately, I'm, I'm thankful to have indoor uh, a good good heating system indoors. <laughs> but uh, yeah, watching your characters and don't starve. Uh, 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 just go through the uh, ooh. go through these winters. Uh, you kind of lose sight of what it's like to actually freeze your butt off in the winter. Alright. We juke you while we pick this stuff up. Yeah, I know. You guys are going to be angry. I know. I know. Let's keep one of you aggroed. But yeah, I, have, I haven't been in a winter like this in a long time. A long time. Where I live, it doesn't typically get this cold. It gets maybe like 30s. 20s, maybe teens if we're, you know, if we're having a cold snap. Oh, how do I uh, do I have to pay one of you off to just to fight the other guy? All right, let's lose you. Uh-oh. Oh, cheap shot, cheap shot. Great. Now, oh, there go the radishes. Crap. Man, that Thunderbird, I so I do need to pen him in. It looks like cuz he starts drifting back out of the peninsula, which is a no bueno. No bueno situation. I guess we're all loaded up on uh, on halberds for now, so let's go home and drop some of that off. And now we're crazy again. Awesome. You know, these watchtowers are not that expensive. One halberd, three cut stone, and four pigskins. You get two cut stone, a halberd, and two pigskins from hammering a guard tower, so... Yeah, it, each one only costs, if you hammer and then replace, it only costs you two extra pigskin and one extra cut stone. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay. I think uh, I'm almost ready to do this. I think I almost have enough stuff for a uh, for pig. I, I want to build eight. So for eight, we need... Eight, 16, 24 cut stone, right? Yeah, and halberds won't be a problem. We're gonna need 32, well, we just pre-built one, so we need 
that other 28 pig skin. Yeah, we gotta hammer some more, uh, we gotta hammer some more guard towers. Okay! You see this guy? Oh! I wasn't even close! Did you get aggroed by the nightmare dudes? Where are you going? What? You just charged! Alright, these Thunderbirds are getting a little glitchy now that they're away from their home. I don't... I don't like it so much. I'm not the biggest fan. Alright, you're gonna be mad at me after I do this. Let's just get ready for the battle. Ugh. Wow. Hit. Pick up something. And then move. Oh, I love WX. Oh, you are just a... You are just a pleasure to do business with. Uh-oh! We might have to leave. Alright, let's go. Don't zap me! Yeah, these Thunderbirds kind of make battling a little more complicated because even if I'm not close to them, they might still zap and stun lock me even though I'm not messing with them at all. And if there's a guy close to me, that could be a problem, so, I mean, I also need to be more vigilant about wearing armor. But, yeah, one unforeseen consequence of having those Thunderbirds around all the dang time. I'm thinking we should probably pen them in to be safe. Hey, you hold on to this. Oh, hello! Hey, I know you still hate me. Come here. Oh, there's another pig guard over there. Okay. We gotta lure you over here. Oh, and here comes another nightmare, buddy, buddy, boo. Fortunately, he was already low. This guy's inching up on me. Where are you going, Ming? Where are you going? Slide back, slide back on over to that peninsula. You have no, no business being over here. Okay, I think we're almost done. I think we have almost everything yet, but yeah, these Thunderbirds, I, I, yeah, they wandered off. They wandered off, so I gotta, yeah, I gotta find a way to keep them, keep them a little bit more penned in. Oh no, we forgot the Halberds again. Oh, these guys are so annoying to grow. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting about them, and they keep going down. Okay, it's day, it's it's oh, top of day 137. We'll go, ha we'll go when it's dusk. And refill the sprinkler. Ugh. Gross. Okay. Well, anyway, we are... We're close. And I'm trying to decide where I want these... Where I want this guard tower to be. Now, if I'm... Maybe I'm going to have to eventually have two separate... Uh, two separate locations, which is fine. I mean, we've got plenty of... Plenty of guard houses to, uh, to sack over by the second hamlet and in the second hamlet. So I'm not worried about running out of resources or anything, but, um... It's probably a good idea to have one close to... Close to this hamlet because we just, we do so much over here. So for now... For now, I think we'll, we'll do it around here. Now... Maybe... Right here. Maybe right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna drop the halberds right here. Wait, how many was that? Three, four, five, six, seven. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we pre built one, so that'll be all the halberds we'll need. Oh, we're gonna have plenty of halberds. I'll bring the, the rest of them back home. And, uh, we need. Let's see. Four. I keep doing math, and I keep forgetting math. We need three cut stone. So that's 24, but we only need we only need 21 because we pre-built one. Okay, so we gotta go get another 14 cut stone. And then we'll just carry the pig skins with us. Cool! Let's do this! Oh hey! Just as I'm building, the bats come. Okay, where can we go with them? Fortunately, we picked up the bush hat so we can hide. How many pig guards over here are there? It's two. I'd rather have a few more. So let's bring them up here and hide. And we'll let the guards take care of the mess. And hopefully they kill s at least some of them by uh, by nightfall. 
Okay, they're not attacking. Good, they're not attacking. They freaked me out for a second when they flew straight towards me. And now they're just gonna they're just gonna stay there and be and be destroyed by pig guards. Looks like it. Yeah. This goes to show you how uh how important it is to get this to get this uh uh, uh these pig guard these guard towers up and running. We're just gonna it's just gonna be our one stop shop for You guys are not dying very quickly, I gotta say. Yeah, we need more pig guards. Many, many more. Eh. I t I grow weary of weight. What do we got? Uh, come here. Come here. <laughs> Hooray. Well, that uh that took away from Ah, uh, oops. I just Oh crap. Can I do this and change it back? Okay, cool. And now, all right, cool. And now that, no! Okay, so if you drop it onto this stack, good. So now if I split that and put those on top, okay, good. I can't, I gotta have the right skin for the pig skins, okay? I just, I gotta do this, guys, I gotta do it. All right, time to go check on the nettles. Still no nettles. Boy, you guys. And here come the glow flies, which means it is almost that very special time for humid season. See if we can get a, 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 la a couple light bulbs right here. Ooh, maybe a Krampus. That would be lovely. Oh, cool, cool. What? No, not Robin. I'm sorry, Robin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I smacked it with my perp cane. Pick y'all up. Can we get a Krampus spawn? Can we do it? Come on, Krampus, come on. Come on. Do we have armor to fight him? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh oh, something stopped. The sound stopped. Where are you? Oh, there's a lot of ya. All right, crap. Time for a crap a sack, right? Time for a crap a sack. Right now, come on, come on, let's do this, let's do this. Perfect time for a full moon. Absolutely impeccable timing. You know, we've killed a lot of Krampuses at this point. I'd say we're we're getting close to our uh, our our due our our payment of uh, of dues for this crap a sack. Nah. Ah, uh, okay, fine. We'll cut our losses for there. Any nettles? No. Nope. All right. We will check again at halfway. Halfway through the next day. Hello. You look so tiny from up there. <laughs> I think... Uh, okay, so we probably shouldn't... We should probably wait until... Well, this is... Something I've never tried before. Can you hide from... Can you hide from, uh... Can you hide from the BFB with the... With the hat... With the bush hat? Let's check it out! Come on, buddy. I know I'm on the cultivated biome. You can land on that. You can totally land on that. Come here. Come here. You see me! <laughs> Whoa! You totally see me. Goodbye. Okay, bush hat does not work there. And now. Let's put... Oh, so I got one... I got one fuzzy turf, the uh, beard hair rug. That'll be the center. And I'm going to... So the idea is I, I hang in the middle of these guard towers and... Uh, hide <laughs> with like a very brave the very brave person that I am now we start building these guard towers so I will use the 
I will use this for this purpose. And just to get them centered on these tiles. We'll make them pretty later. And... Guard tower. Awesome. That does not look very nice. Oh well. Too late now. What do I need? Another halberd? Oh yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. And we got all these halberds in you too. Alright. I'm hoping they don't have too much of a... Uh, of a collision... Boundary collision. That nah, doesn't look like it. Now the question is, can I place one here? Let's get another halberd first. Awesome. Okay, it looks like I'll be able to uh, set up all eight of these guys. Very cool, very cool. All right, we got our panic room. And uh, <laughs> I'm hoping I'm able to still dig up this turf even with the guard towers down. Looks like I can. Cool. So we have... We have a panic room for, at least for our base, uh, in the hamlet. And, uh, that might change. And it probably will change. But for now, we have protection, and it's strange that we waited this long to do it, but... Now we can head back, check on our nettles again! And, uh, uh hopefully... Hopefully we'll have some nettles to speak of! Yay! Nettle time! Fuel her up and take them down. I want to stay on top of these guys for, for at least a few more harvests. Just a few more harvests. And uh, now that we have the pig guard towers all good to go, it might be a good time to set up another sprinkler so that we can just maximize our nettle productions. And I think we have... We might need to go out and get some more from the Pugilisk Island. I know there's, yeah, there's some in the poisonous biome. Oh, and there's some over here. Yeah, maybe we can get them from uh, from this island. Okay, so maybe we'll maybe we'll make that our next project. But for now, okay, we come back at three o'clock, whatever, three o'clock of the next day. All right, cool. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we made it right on time. Oh, man. Okay, I do want to make another sprinkler, and now that we have access to alloy and plenty of plenty of iron, although I don't know where the iron is at the moment, uh, but I, I, we, we got plenty of alloy, so I do want to make another sprinkler. And with that, I think I want to... Oh, yeah, by the way, we got some butter. That was pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to cook up this stuff. We're going to head back out, check on the nettles one more time, and then go grab some additional nettles! Oops! It's humid season! Time to go get our pith hat! I think we keep it in here, right? Oh no, we still keep it in the hat, uh, the hat rack. Killer! Okay, well, we, uh, we're going to head out next episode, kill some crows for feather, black feathers, and, uh, get some more nettles, set up another... Another nettle uh, farm. Looking forward to that, but uh, I hope you are enjoying the series, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!